Let's look at another example, finding tangent lines to um, curves that are defined by vector valued functions. This time we're looking at a curve in the plane. Right? Um, so we'll do t equals minus 1 first. r at minus 1 is going to be minus 1, 1. Um, now r prime of t here is going to be um, 3t squared 2t. So r prime at minus 1, we get 3 and negative 2. Right? And so that means if we want to get the vector value to, um, you know, the vector equation of the line, we're sort of ready for that, L of t equals minus 1, 1 plus t times the direction, which is 3 minus 2. Uh, now, this is in the plane, so if you want to, you could always kind of go back to, you know, the usual y equals mx plus b kind of equation for the line. Um, and, and one way to do that is just to say, hey, you know what? Um, the slope, right, it's, it's delta y over delta x, which in this case is minus 2 over 3, right? So we could always say, hey, and this is, this is x value, that's y value. So we could always say, hey, you know, y is equal to the initial y value of 1 plus the slope minus 2 over 3 times x minus the x value. Minus minus 1 gives you x plus 1, right? Um, so minus 2 thirds x if you want the sort of, you know, slope intercept form. There you go. Okay. So we've got the equation of the tangent line at t equals minus 1. Um, now, at t equals 0, at t equals 0, you see that there's a bit of trouble, right? Um, r prime of 0, well, it's the 0 vector, um, which has no direction. So we, we can't use it as the direction vector for our curve. Um, what is this trying to tell us? What is it trying to tell us that the derivative is the zero vector at that point, right? Um, well, if we think about slope, right, uh, if we think of, of this as, as rise and run, you know, for, for slope, um, zero over zero, it's undefined. Slope is undefined. So, so the, the tangent line is undefined. Um, so this, this is sort of a point of non-differentiability, if you like. And, you know, if we, if we solve for y as a function of x here, you know, you can do it, right? Um, and y is going to be, what, like x to the two-thirds, right? Um, and if you think about what that, you know, when you graph this curve, what does it look like? Well, then you can understand a little bit better why, um, why we get this sort of zero result at the origin, because the, the graph... Right, looks something like that. Um, the curve is continuous at the origin, but there's a cusp, right? So the curve is not smooth, if you like, at that point. There's a kind of a corner to the curve. Whereas at minus one, that's gonna be, you know, kind of over here somewhere. Uh, there's, there's, no, there's no problem with the tangent line at that point, right? Um, but at the origin, tangent line is undefined, Makes sense. Um, in the usual kind of thinking of like y as a function of x, that's a point of non-differentiability, right? Uh, what's interesting is the, the vector valued function is differentiable there, right? Um, so you have to be a little bit careful when you're thinking about curves defined by vector valued functions and you want to talk about like a curve being smooth in the sense of having tangents at every point. Um, well, simply saying the derivative exists is, is not enough, right? We'll address that in the next video.